Hi everyone, welcome to this week's skin show. Here's the prices for this week's 10 new skins. Let me know what you think down below. Let's jump in. Up first, and we have the Graffiti Meds storage box. Now this would not be a new week's worth of skins from Face Punch without them throwing in another wooden box skin. The Meds box here from the Graffiti Collection is a nice addition, has a lot of personality to it, with obviously the common phrases you hear to do with Meds, such as I'm low, I'm one hit, thrown onto the side of this box, which is quite cool. You can also see that it is a glow in the dark skin, so very, very easy to find at night, a very, very quirky design. Now we have the comics crossbow. Now I can see this crossbow being very popular for those who enjoy living in the snow. This I would say would be a great addition for those who enjoy the white tower armor and are looking for something to add to that collection. Up next, and we have the Cardboard SMG skin. Now, following the recent update to Guns Within Rust, many players have found a newfound love for the custom. And this skin, I think, is definitely one to pick up if you plan on using it. There is a lot of detail involved with this skin, and it's not glow-in-the-dark or flashy, which I tend to find a lot of custom skins are. Now we move on to the JPEG LR skin. Now it's interesting to me that this collection of JPEG has actually been quite controversial. Some really like it, some really don't. The facts are it doesn't glow in the dark. It's quite a simple design. And so if this is what you like, you're gonna like this week's skin. Now we have the Molotov wooden door, and for those of you who forgot that Molotovs and flashbangs have been added in, is this week's reminder. And for those pyromaniacs of you, you will really like this door. I'm not sure why of all the doors they picked, they picked the wooden one. If this isn't one big advert for this door is combustible, I'm not sure what is. It's a shame it's not a glow-in-the-dark skin, but I'm guessing they wanted it to be discreet, but perhaps only during the daytime. I'm not so sure. Now we have the reinforced armored door. As you can see, a very simple design, very much a military base kind of theme they've gone for. Something that is very cool is the outside of this door has a LED light, which is glow in the dark. The inside does not. So fun if you want to get back to your base and are looking for the door, not so fun if you have no light and you're stuck inside. Now we have the Pixel Satchel Charge. Now, if you like the idea of Minecraft, but you like blowing stuff up in Rust, then this is the perfect crossover for you. A really, really cool skin. I think it's been a while since we had a Satchel Charge skin. This is very, very welcome. Definitely a fan favorite. And the attention to detail is great. Last but not least, we have the black gold face mask, chest plate, and road sign gloves. I can see this being a big hit this week. Definitely with those who missed the blackout kit the first time, I can see this being alternative for those who don't want to shell out a million pounds to rebuy the blackout kit from market. Right, well this week I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. Definitely some better skins we've had for a while some there to really get excited about. I hope you guys have a great week.